showing up. Also ahead, it's like a live edition of American Idol without the British guy. We'll take you to some of the top karaoke bars in the area. Coming up. And Just the word karaoke makes some people want to hold their ears, especially in the newsroom. But we found some impressive performers at North Texas karaoke bars. We'll take you there and show you their feelings. <laughs> up with Quick Magazine to bring you the best hot spots in town. The 33's entertainment reporter, Roni Proter, joins us now with the latest installment. Roni, tonight, uh, you know, we'll warm up your vocal cords a bit, huh? <laughs> we did. We found uh, that, you know, we're featuring karaoke spots, and I figured that my eardrums would be ringing from all the terrible singing, but it turns out that the only awful voice is mine. <laughs> expecting a long night of cracking voices, but on Lower Greenville, these folks know how to belt one out. We're all trying to live a dream that uh, no one was able to manage to attain, and so this is kind of a surrogate for that. What makes both karaoke spots so popular is that the singers really get into it. If you're going to do Axl Rose or Mick Jagger, you can't half ass it, you have to go all out. He gets all kinds of eclectic people here. He gets uh, a naked guy, he gets uh, famous people. Rhett Miller sang here a couple weeks ago. Wait, did I hear that right? Bruce is a regular that likes to get naked. Maybe that's why at Libertine they call it scary -oke. I didn't have the pleasure of running into Bruce, but we did see some other characters. Including Dominic, the DJ at Winedale, who can help you out with a high note. Karaoke is just such a wonderful thing. I mean, I, I don't know what to say about it. I can't say enough about it. It's, it's real singers, real people. It's a great atmosphere. And most don't even need the lyrics that dance across the screen. But if you're a first timer, there are some helpful tips. A first timer, I would highly recommend you actually bring the mic really close to your mouth. If you make the crowd think you're having a really good time, that they're going to have a really good time too. So I took all the advice I heard throughout the night and got up on stage. I want to love you, but even with Dominic's help, my first try was pretty awful. But by the end of the night, my spirit had lifted and I had a newfound respect for the art. Sit down, have a couple drinks, and loosen up and listen to these great singers. In Quicks Magazine, which hits newsstands tomorrow, there are more karaoke bars listed, so you can pick up a copy. And if you're dying to see me sing again or you just want to know more about the bars we featured, go to the33tv.com. I think the couple of drinks was key. I don't think I've ever been up there without a couple <laughs> of drinks. <laughs> I was sober, and that was it was just not good. Well, I mean, I mean, you looked like you were having fun, but still, that takes a lot of guts to get yeah. up there with uh, no... You know. No, yeah. I mean, I can do this live, no problem. Singing up there, I give props to those people who get up there and really... Well, that's a pretty hard song, PYT by Michael uh, Jackson. Feelings maybe would have been better. It sounds much better singing in my car tonight. Well, you know what, next time <laughs> yeah. take Walt with you and you can do uh -huh. a duet. Yeah. Ah, I think that would be a good idea. idea. We'll do we'll ABBA. Try that. Oh, no, I'm not there with you on <laughs> Dancing that. Dancing queen. I am not there with you on that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks.